Everybody knows about a Manhattan, but did you know there's a whole world of New York themed cocktails out there? This week, let me show you how to make a green point. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and like I said, this week I'm diving down that rabbit hole of New York district or borough themed cocktails because I'm making a green point. Now, the green point is a riff on a riff on a Manhattan, so it's a riff on what's called the Brooklyn. And while I might make other kind of New York themed cocktails down the line in the future, I wanted to start here because I do like this variation. So if you want to see me make other New York themed cocktails, let me know down below. But this right here is the Greenpoint cocktail created in 2006 in the Milk and Honey Bar by Michael McElroy. It's a very kind of simple enough cocktail. I mean, it uses rye whiskey, sweet vermouth, and yellow chartreuse. And if you're using rye whiskey, uh, sweet vermouth, and some bitters, you're gonna end up in a good result. But when you add in something like a yellow chartreuse, it just adds a nice different kind of aspect to the cocktail without taking away from those kind of classic notes you get from the rye and the vermouth. Yellow chartreuse is like a lighter, sweeter, less alcoholic version of green chartreuse. It comes in at 43%, whereas the green chartreuse comes in at 55%, so that's a bit more weighty. It is made by the chartreuse and monks in the Chartreuse Abbey. It's made of, I think, about 130 different herbs and spices and botanicals to really give you a nice, rich kind of flavor without being overly bitter or overly strong, and it's just a nice, sweet little addition to a lot of cocktails. It is kind of hard nowadays to find chartreuse, either green or yellow chartreuse, but I was luckily traveling through France recently and I got a lot of these 200 ml bottles because they were completely sold out of the full size bottle. So if you see chartreuse on your shelves, maybe pick yourself up a bottle because it might be out of stock sooner or later. The cocktail also uses Angostura bitters and orange bitters just to round things out. And that's just a very nice basic but flavorful recipe. So that's enough talking, let's get to making our cocktail. It is a stirred drink, so we're gonna get our mixing glass and we're gonna pop a nice rock of ice into there before we measure out the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna start off with our rye whiskey. This is the rye whiskey from Koval Distillery in Chicago. It is a 100% organic rye whiskey, so it's gonna have all those classic rye flavors. It does come in at 40%, so it's not gonna be the strongest like high proof rye on the market, but because we're using other alcoholic ingredients there, I don't think it matters all that much because it's still gonna be a very boozy, spirit forward cocktail. Start right there with 60 ml or two ounces of our Koval rye. Next up, it's our sweet vermouth. We're gonna go in with half an ounce or 15 ml of our sweet vermouth. This is just Martini Rosso, the red sweet vermouth. You can use whatever sweet vermouth you like best, but for me, I just think that is a classic kind of vermouth flavor. It's when I think of vermouth, I generally think of the Rosso vermouth from Martini. And lastly, it's our yellow chartreuse. It's again 15 ml or half an ounce. And this is gonna give us a lot of flavor. So I generally am quite careful when I'm pouring in something like a chartreuse because it is quite punchy. It's not like strong, it's not bitter, it's not astringent. It just is quite herbal and floral. So it will have a big impact into the cocktail. So generally you should be a little careful when you're using it. Lastly, it's one dash of Angostura bitters and then one dash of orange bitters. And that's just gonna round it out, keep it kind of in that Manhattan kind of family of flavors while being a little bit different thanks to the yellow chartreuse. So we're just gonna stir it down for about 30 seconds, get it really nice, really cold, and then we'll strain it out. Okay, I think that is nicely chilled now. So we're gonna wait to strain it out into a nice chilled coupe glass and then we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of a lemon peel. But first, we're just gonna strain it out. Nice and simple, nice and straightforward. You can see it's got that kind of classic uh, Manhattan uh, vibe to it with the coloring there, but just not being overpowered by the yellow chartreuse. And then for a garnish, we're just gonna get a little uh, lemon peel just like that, express the oils over the top, just like that, and I'm gonna twist it a little bit just so I can hang it off the edge of the glass, just to give it a nice bit of a presentation 
And that right there is a green point cocktail. Now real quick, before I taste this, if you're new here, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays. I put out cocktail recipes on Fridays. So if you wanna see more like that, make sure you hit thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's taste this cocktail. It is surprising how sweet the cocktail is. It almost feels like there's a bit of sugar syrup in it. That's why for me, I do like a Manhattan. I do like the kind of flavors you get in a Manhattan, but sometimes depending on the vermouth, depending on the rye, depending on the bitters you use even, it can sometimes be a bit tart and be a bit too kind of spirit forward. This here, despite being extra boozy because it does have the chartreuse in it, it's very tasty, it's very approachable, and very easy to enjoy. It's got a little bit of kind of a, a syrupy character to it, maybe because the vermouth and the chartreuse work well together. The orange bitters, add a little bit of liveliness to it, that it's combined with that expression of the oils from the lemon peel. Just give you a nice kind of a, a citrusy vibe to it. And then when you taste it, you get the herbal botanical notes. You get the kind of aromatized botanical notes from the chartreuse. And then behind all that, you get the kind of the backbone of that rye whiskey coming through. It's just a very nice, very tasty little cocktail. Like I said, if you want to see me make other of those New York themed cocktails like the Red Hook or anything like that, let me know down below. But for now, I'm going to keep on enjoying this and I'll see you next time. Sláinte.